applications of machine learning. Now, social media, it's a star example of machine learning. You know, there's a lot of data being generated in terms of tweets, posts, pictures, likes, dislikes, thumbs up, thumbs down, um, you know, what have you. And all these can be effectively used to create segments or group of people or making predictions. What are you going to like? What are you going to dislike? Search engines, they use you know, a lot of machine learning to figure out to give you auto suggestions, to give you relevant searches. You know, it kind of feels sometimes that it's reading your mind. You know, healthcare, you know, there is a lot of data that gets generated around a patient in terms of what are the procedures that is being performed on this patient? What are the diagnoses that has been done on, uh, on this patient by the doctor or hospital? And then that all can be used to do, you know, predictive analytics for uh, preventive care or, or to predict the cost of, of healthcare. And banking and finance use it you know, every day to detect your credit score or determine uh, whether you are credit worthy of giving a loan or not, or it, you know, it uses machine learning to detect if this transaction is a fraudulent transaction or a, a regular transaction. Legal services they use machine learning extensively now to do quick ballpark checks on what is going to happen given this situation. The retail, you know, big companies like Amazon, Walmart, Home Depot, and um, online e-commerce e e e e sites, they use machine learning to segment their users. You know, it's clustering behind the scenes to figure out which kind of users exist, which kind of users would buy what products. If you buy this product, what are the other kind of products you might be interested in? Public services, interestingly, in US have started using uh, uh, machine learning. You know, uh, I, I was re recently reading an article where a fire department has started using machine learning in some counties to detect, you know, given a distress call, should we uh, take the patient to the hospital or just an ambulance would do and a first aid would suffice. You know, security. Security uses machine learning effectively these days to detect you know, whether these are uh, regular transactions in your network or these are some fishy or anomalous transactions. Should we uh, single it out and alert the staff to start reviewing uh, these uh, you know, anomalous transactions? So all the data, you know, all these data that is being produced by these different systems, you know, it's being analyzed by machine learning algorithms to convert it into information. And once you convert data to information, what can you do? You can provide better digital services. You can create better data products for your uh, users. And last but not the least, you are entering into the age of information driven applications wherein you use data to decide how do we enhance our system, which route or way should I take my application? It's no longer a guessing game. Let us look how LinkedIn uses machine learning to do uh, or provide better services to its customers and to its users. So LinkedIn knows your you know, designation and the company where you're working for. It knows the location where you're working. It knows how many followers you have. The you know, higher the followers, the more important the person you are. Me. It knows your level of education. It knows the kind of posts you're reading, liking, or following. So using all this information or data points, it's able to apply machine learning algorithms to create you know, kind of better digital services for its uh, customers. It's able to let its uh, advertising customers know what kind of advertisements or material you should show to this profile so as to get maximum uh, match uh, or a better click ratio. It also uses these data points to give you give the users a better product. It is able to tell you 
okay, you might want to be friends with this person, or you probably know this person, or you might want to follow this person, or you might want to read this post. They all eventually add better user experience. So this is how LinkedIn is using machine learning. Let's see how Google search uses uh, machine learning. Let's say you are you're doing your search and you enter your search keyword. Now, Google gives you suggestions you know, that can be used to auto-complete your search. Now, this is done by machine learning. Now, some of the important factors being considered here is you know, what is the popularity of the query? Now, what is the geolocation from where you are doing the query? Maybe the location is important. Maybe you're searching for a you know, place to eat. So maybe it starts showing up places nearby. Or if you're, um, uh, you know, your query, how, how well it matches to the you know, relevant keywords on the web. So using all these parameters, it's able to build, and much more, it's able to build, you know, possible suggestions for you. And it feels like Google is trying to read your mind. And sometimes it does make mistakes. And for those situations, it uses your power, your analysis to further enhance its machine learning by allowing you to provide feedback that these suggestions doesn't make sense in my context. It's Google is very smart when it puts all of these together from you know, millions and billions of people around the world. Uh, it becomes a very powerful auto suggestion uh, machine.